this is it ocean adventures <laughs> we're here this is uh mini season week so i don't know if you guys are familiar with mini season but this is when all the professionals head down to the keys to catch our amount of lobster for the year so we're loading up right now getting the boat all set up for the trip um it'll take us probably about four or five hours depending on traffic so we're getting all the poles in order tied down so they don't blow out while we're on the highway we got our tanks in there because we'll be doing some diving uh, so we're just going through a checklist now make sure we got everything we got all the spear guns plan on plugging a lot of fish so we'll tune in throughout the journey when we're on the road when we get to the place get the boat in the water and uh, most important when we're out on the water slaying the fish so thanks again for tuning in sandwiches egg sandwiches some cheese whiz from Philly we're ready to go out and do this yeah. hey what's missing out there on the dock though yeah we sent Colton out this morning to get bait no boat <laughs> no boat I had a little technical difficulties yesterday with the batteries not being Topped off or charged, so we couldn't start the motor, so we had to charge them overnight. So, our first work this morning is uh, putting the boat in the water. All right, we made it on the water, just pushed off the dock. Yep, we're heading out looking for the mahi today. So, it's flat calm, should be under a half a foot seas. Winds are barely moving, so it's sweaty hot out here today. It is just about nine o'clock down here in Key Colony, heading down the canal. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna pull out to the Atlantic. There's a nice big old iguana. Got a good crew. Big Colton. He's ready to put monster in the cooler. Captain Mike Dawson, as usual. Big Tanner representing Miami. Oh yeah, real five. And we got Debbie, the boss. She's out here today, as well as Kiara representing. She said she's gonna shoot the biggest fish this year, so we brought her along, figure it'd be helpful. So we got about 15, 16 miles. We're gonna be looking for stuff out in the water. We can find some debris, weed lines, maybe some frigates. Thanks again for tuning in. And don't forget to Keep your batteries charged. We made it out to uh, 650 feet, probably about seven miles hey, offshore. We got some trollers set up, we saw some birds diving. Not a lot of weeds out here, but there's a lot of boats. So usually when the boats are all out here, um, it's a good sign there's fish. So we found some mahi, some little ones. We didn't turn the camera on. They were all little peanuts. Uh, we just started casting on them. We hooked a few but uh, yeah, let most of them go once they got to the boat because they were too little. So um, put the trollers out. We got uh, this one. We have a skirted ballyhoo on mono. Uh, we have a, a deep um, kind of lure. It's like a big lure with a bunch of big hooks on it and it's got a big tongue on it. So it dives pretty deep. So we have that on the Penn International. Hoping to get maybe some Oahu or something that's a little deeper big fish we can pull in with that and then we have another troller out here and i think we just have a popper on that one so a couple different flavors for the fish uh we're not quite sure what's what's working this morning but uh hopefully one of these will start peeling line and um we'll tune back on and uh we're gonna see if we can get get one of these ladies reeling one of these big ones in first and get that in the cooler so here we go here we go this is it baby there she is right there Dawson with the 
that job. I can't do a drag. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead and gap it. Take shot. I'm gonna go a little faster. Here, just bring the line here, 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 here. Put on the front. Put the tip, put the tip, your tip towards us, the boat. There you go. Bring them to us. There you go. All right, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna rush it. Oh yeah, what a gas shot, baby! No, no meat wasted, dog. Come oh on, yeah, good job. Got him. Nice fish, Tanner. Where's the birds? Where's the birds? Yeah. Go, go, go. Woo! Well, here he goes. Blood in the boat. Blood in the boat. Here he goes. Where's the boat? Fish oh, on. Oh yeah. Dawson's mic just hooked up. I got the bite. Gotta swing this little one in. Nice, come on! Where you doing? Come on, come on, come on. I just got one motor going. Keep that tip up. Most likely a black channel. Video. I thought I saw a little color. I thought I saw some color back there. I didn't know. Oh. 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 It's oh. Wahoo. Oh. Bring it, bring it. Destroy it. It's done. Uh, oh, skipjack, skipjack. Woo. That bird was big. <laughs> What's <laughs> not, Mahi? I was given false information. Doo doo. Dawson looks like he just hooked up on an A-drive. Walk around the front. Oh, there, sure. Here, here grab that rod, here, grab that rod. Who didn't catch a big amberjack last time? Me. You want it? Uh, too bad. Oh. All right, yeah, Dawson's on. You gotta go forward, so. Is it a shark or is it? Go forward. It's an amberjack, bro. Take a picture of it up there. I know. But he kicks one time, it's gonna go flying through your hand and into your hand. He's on about 400 feet deep with the big old amberjack. I don't know, it's kicking more like a tuna. You gotta real faster, Kira. You gotta go in a motion, it's gotta be a rhythm. What's up? Up and, and rail. Hit it, Kira. Come on, girl, you can do it. And then get your slide. Let's go. Once you get him going up, you gotta keep keep him coming up. It's gonna get sharp, exactly. Gotta be a good rhythm. You got it, girl. Let's go. Uh, this is gonna be a long one. Perfect. There you go. There you go, Kiki. That's the rhythm. Right You're there. getting it in. It's a tuna. Ooh, Kiki's on a big fish. Yeah. Julio's gonna be so impressed and jealous. He's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Okay. Still about a hundred feet down. I bet. I hope. How far down is it? It's a smaller amberjack. She's uh, almost got it. You gotta roll faster on the way down because it's a heavy jig and it'll fall out of its mouth. And the sharks are the coming. The reel's gotta start before you get the You gotta start reeling before you. Reel, 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 reel. Now reel. reel. Now start, there you go. Yeah, Arms getting tired? Reel. You don't even practice the pump. You're almost there, Kiki. Hold up and reel, Gary. Right there and reel. About 75 more feet. Cranking in the last bit. He's full of yeah, air, spinning up. It's real, it's real. Don't even crank, it's real. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Careful that, that hook's looking around. Oh, my God. No, no, you can hold it. Wait, so you're in the sun completely. Tilt the, the fin back towards you a little bit. Yeah, now lean, lean back and just bang. Flex the abs. I'm trying, this thing's kind of heavy. Now hold it by the tail, like, grrr. Hey, That's a keeper. Oh, no. My net ready. Is that down? <laughs> you know what the keeper is? No, no, the keeper. Yeah, whatever comes to you, Brian. All right, jump. You can take that right away. Right, which way? Oh, 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 other way. This is it. We just saw some mahi jumping back at this weed patch. We're going out there right now. 
All these folks trying to take our spot. We ain't gonna let it happen. Just got into a small school. Colton's bringing a little baby in. He's gonna peanut. He's gonna have a nice release. Brian's over here having his little pinky out there chasing them. If you can see him, they're down there. Doss got one hooked up on a lure that he said that uh, was doo doo and he would never use it. Has a big lip on it, goes down, probably shakes a lot. The one that me and uh, <laughs> watch out, Colton, where's mom? <laughs> It ain't a rat! <laughs> it is, but don't fall, Mom. Uh, all over. Oh gosh, that was too funny. We're sitting here next to a giant school of mahi. Dawson jumped in, snorkeling around. Maybe he'll shoot one, probably not. <laughs> I'm about to catch a giant. First person point of view. Here's the one little flick, let it sink a little bit. He just screamed. Think he maybe have shot one. He left the gun on the surface. That's good. Oh, he's got it on. Oh, he lost it. It went off. Get over to him. I can't. Come help me. Come help me. Where's your knife? Brain him. Pull, baby. None of them are that big. This is probably the biggest. This one is a cow. About the same size. Grab the other gun. Brian's jumping in with you. Here, bring that thing in the, in the boat first. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Uh, I've seen him rip out. All right. Yeah, boys. How many were there? The whole school. They, all, they never spread up at all. A little spear action. When they don't bite, we shoot. I think he's already dead, but yeah. give him a little brain. A little bleed. Keep this. Oh yeah. Viewer discretion is advised. You. Got a gun? Hold it. There's a new pole. There's a new pole. He just brought in this nice little ma. He just uh, spearfished it. Nice. Did you grab it by the head up there? Why's he got holes in his head? That's because I shot him earlier. Oh. <laughs> I shot him earlier. And that was a nice and shot, too. It it went right through. Welcome back to the kitchen. Um, had an awesome time down in the Keys for mini season and thought we'd put together uh, a little cook here for you. So, what we're going to do today is uh, some sushi. We caught some tuna when we were off at the Marathon Humps um, and love sushi. So it's kind of fun when you're able to make your own homemade fresh sushi with fresh tuna that you, that you just caught a couple of days ago. So um, just gonna run through a couple of things here and then I'll chime back in as I'm going through the process, doing some of the different things to kind of put it all together. It's gonna take some time. We have some um, Sushi rice actually soaking. It says in the directions to soak it for 15 minutes before you actually boil it and get that going. And you really want your sushi rice to be cold um, when you're making your rolls. So I have that sitting and then once uh, the 15 minutes is up, we're going to boil that stuff and kind of get that cooking, get it ready to go. And then I'm going to shave down the cucumber, get all the skin off of it, and then I'm gonna cut it into slices, do the same thing with the carrots, and then uh, cut up some avocado and some slices as well open up the tuna, make some nice, um, I guess we're going to do kind of like square um, elongated shapes to kind of fit in the sushi rolls. And then I'm going to do some real thin slices as well to kind of put on top of the sushi. Um, so we'll have almost like a little sashimi sushi mix. Um, have some rice vinegar. We're going to mix that in once the rice is, is cooked and cooled. We'll mix some rice vinegar in there to kind of get that going. And then we also have... Um, some seaweed paper. I don't know where that is, but it's somewhere around here. And we're going to do some with seaweed paper where we'll put that down here on it. And then we'll also put the rice and then all the ingredients. And then we'll roll it up with these bamboo sushi rollers. 
and it should be awesome. So thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this will be an awesome cook and maybe if you've never made sushi before on your own, um, this will inspire you to do that. But definitely whenever you get some fresh tuna out of the Atlantic, um, it's, it's an awesome thing to kind of do, um, you know, even with your family, get your kids involved. Um, it's kind of a fun little hands-on experience uh, of cooking. All right, so the rice is in the refrigerator and it's cooling off. And now I'm gonna cut up um, some of these vegetables that we're gonna put inside the sushi roll. So we just um, used a peeler to kind of peel the outer layer of the carrots off and the cucumber as well. And so I'm trying to cut them up into these thin strips like this. And then once I have them in the thin strips, I I want to go and make even thinner strips because um, what you're going to do is just kind of stuff this in um, for your roll and then once you slice the sushi it'll obviously break it down into little pieces and stuff like that. All right, same thing for the cucumber. You want to make your kind of thin slices and then we're going to make those strips just like we did with the carrots. Be careful not to cut your fingers off. Um, that would suck. But the thinner the better, and then just kind of roll right down. I just want to make these like shoestrings almost. Um, and then you'll see, it doesn't, might not make sense right now, but then once we start putting the sushi roll together, you'll kind of see how it adds into it. And the seed part, um, I mean, you can do it, but the seed part isn't as, um, I don't know what you would call it, solid or as, as doesn't hold together as well as, as kind of the outer part of the cucumber. So if you want, you know, just cut that seed part out and you don't have to use that. And then try to use some of the outer flesh, which you know has a lot more sturdiness to it. Um, so it'll hold up better when you're stuffing it inside the sushi roll and rolling it together. All right, now I'm cutting up the avocado. I'm gonna cut this up pretty much the same way as I did the cucumber and the carrots. I'm just kind of slicing real thin slices and then I'm gonna pull it out of the skin and then I'm gonna go sideways the other way to make um, really nice thin strips just like I did with the other things. And then that way we'll put all these things together inside the roll and um, that should do it. So once you get it out, it's already in nice slices. So you gotta keep it from sliding and just kind of go through nice and thin slices and then you'll get those little kind of shoestrings just like that and then uh, I got my little dish over here where I'm kind of lining all the ingredients up and up next will be the star of the show the fresh blackfin tuna all right here's our vacuum sealed blackfin tuna just like before Get out of the water, dry it real good, put it in the vacuum sealer, and it goes right in the freezer. So, super fresh, just like we caught it, because we did. So with this, I'm going to go a little thicker than I did with the vegetables, kind of make it almost like a, like a square, like a long square, and then cut it into Like that, and then that should be good. So these are a little bit thicker because um, obviously the tuna is the big part of the sushi roll. So there's a little bit thicker than the other pieces. All right, so we added a little bit of this rice vinegar in here. I'm not quite sure why. Um, if you know, leave it in the comment section. That'd be great. But um, everything everything that I saw says add some rice vinegar into your sushi rice so i'm just kind of mixing it through this has been in the refrigerator chilling off a little bit so i'm um, just kind of mixing that through fluffing it up a little bit and then we're gonna lay it out on the bamboo mat and uh, start putting our ingredients in all right so everything that i was watching and the way that i've made sushi before i've used the seaweed paper and that's kind of been the base um, which obviously makes it like the picture shows here as the outside of the sushi roll But I don't want to use that on this roll. I kind of want it to just be rice and then the vegetables and the fish So I thought I'm gonna try something Hopefully this will work. I'm gonna put some saran wrap some plastic wrap down um, between the bamboo 
mat and the rice and I'm gonna lay the rice out on here and then I'll put my ingredients in and hopefully, obviously that I'll keep it from sticking to the bamboo mat. Um, and then I should be able to take that off after I roll it up. It should come off pretty easily, I'm guessing, I'm hoping. But I don't know, it might stick to the plastic wrap. So we'll see how it works out. All right, I got most of the rice laid out. One of the things I forgot that I remember last time I made sushi, um, a little pro tip is have a little dish of water just so you can wet your fingers. It'll help keep the rice from sticking to your fingers like it was um, all over my hands. Um, as it starts to stick, just get a little bit more water on your fingers and then that'll help to kind of keep it. And the other point too, um, you really want to kind of push this thin and kind of make your your rice bed as thin as you can because um, the thicker it is then it just becomes a real you know big clump of rice on your sushi roll so um, I don't know if you like a ton of rice on your sushi like go for it but I prefer to have more of the vegetables and the fish as kind of you know the dominant thing within my sushi roll so I want it to be as thin as possible so as you get your fingers wet and kind of press it down um, you know, this will make it like, like a nice thin layer so you won't have a big old giant bite of rice. All right, I've got this pressed out pretty good, so I'm going to start laying in my ingredients. There's my little tuna shrimp. Put some of the cucumber in there. And then the carrots. I think the other thing I remember too, the thinner you cut these pieces, the um, better it is, especially with the carrots, because the carrots are pretty hard and crunchy. So if they're thick, um, it's definitely gonna be quite a crunchy bite. Um, but I think that's more a texture preference, so I don't think it really matters. And then I'm gonna put some avocado in it too, just to make it nice and pretty. The test whether this is going to work. Hopefully, I didn't cut off too much of the rice. I think these bamboo things are going to really kind of squeeze it tight as you go in there, and then I'm trying to pull back this plastic wrap, and hopefully, this will come off and it looks like it's working it looks like it's working and then the other part um oh it might be wet from my fingers but um get your fingers a little bit wet and rub on that that last lip of the rice and that'll help it stick to the rest of it thing so that I can cut it and voila I'm gonna wet the knife too that might help it not to stick to it as I cut through We got a little sushi roll. Could be tighter, but um, not too bad for the first attempt. So I'm gonna cut the rest of these up and then we're gonna jump into the taste test. Got some soy sauce, put some wasabi in there, get some spice and also some pickled ginger. I don't know if I've said this before, but the ginger will kill any parasites that could potentially be in the fish. So anytime you're eating raw fish, always eat the ginger. It'll save you a lot of problems. The last thing you want is parasites inside of your body. It's really difficult to get rid of. So 
sushi, raw fish, eat the ginger, you're welcome. Here we go. So it's not as tight because I didn't put any paper on the inside, so it's kind of delicate. It's falling apart a little bit, um, but for the most part, it's holding together. As you can see, they're there, but it's definitely a little challenging. So um, chopsticks probably aren't the best. Um, hopefully the next one I can make a little bit tighter. I think I'm gonna put some of that seaweed paper in it on the next one, and that should help hold it's it together. Really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. There she goes. Really good, she says. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. Yep. Amazing. I wish you got some got a big piece off the, <laughs> the cutting board. I'm going for the big one. <laughs> it's definitely good. Um really fresh, not fishy. Mm. Phenomenal. So what we're gonna do next is um the kids, they're not so much into fish. Well, actually, Hannah's going to try one, aren't you? Or did you try one? I did try one. Did you like it? Yeah. Did you did eat you the ginger? The fish? Yeah. Okay. Well, Hannah likes it too. So, it's definitely a winner. But we're also going to make avocado rolls because um, if you don't like fish, you can make, do the same thing. Just don't put any uh, fish in it and just put the cucumber, carrots, avocado. And um, that's pretty cool too. So, the kids that don't eat the fish. Eat some sushi too. So thanks again for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Appreciate it. All right, we got Hannah now. Hannah's making her her own sushi roll. Like I said, this is a great thing to do with the family. Get the kids involved, and they don't have to put the fish in if they're not into it. If they are, they can. But she's more um, just vegetables, so she's going to have avocado, carrots, cucumbers, and she's also using the rice paper. So hers will probably be a lot tighter and hold together a little bit better than my first attempt. So love when the kids get involved, teach them how to cook when they're young. It's a skill set that will be valuable all their life. All right, Hannah's roll turned out much better than mine. It's nice and tight. She used the seaweed paper, um, did an amazing job. And she actually did include the tuna. So she's gonna do a taste test on her own with the paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She mm -hmm. said this is it. <laughs> Ocean Adventures. This is Monica's version. Lots of tuna. Use the I seaweed like lots paper. of ginger too. She likes lots of ginger. It's nice and tight. The seaweed paper definitely allows you to get it much tighter than no seaweed paper. Mm. <laughs> Let me see how good this is. <laughs> these, are, these are the biggest ones, so we really loaded it up. Looks amazing. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Here's Andy's. She just did a straight avocado roll. Hers is nice and tight, well put together. Let's see what she thinks. It's a winner. Winner, winner, tuna dinner. <laughs> Dad jokes. Let's see what Hannah thinks. She likes.